I would like to tell you a little bit about who we have over here on my right today, which uh, uh, on the left-hand side we have Rayanne Richards and Mark Mandeville, and they are joined this year on their walking tour, which begins today uh, here, and then they move on tonight, um, and they're joined by Mark Kiliansky. You got it. Nice. <laughs> and Amy Alvey. And... Um, how that works is this is year four of the walking tour for Mark and Rayanne. And what they do is travel a number of miles in Massachusetts, uh, perhaps otherwise in New England. Uh, uh, but um, they can tell you a little bit more about that. And they uh, work with grants and uh, get different towns along their route involved in community arts and by uh, orchestrating uh, concerts and sharing music with community and, uh, you know, uh, promoting the arts, the importance of arts within uh, towns. And uh, so every year they uh, invite different musicians and this year they have Mark and Amy on board as part of their ensemble with the songs they'll share. Rayanne, uh, back in time, was involved in music uh, in high school playing the electric bass and clarinet and drums. And Mark was in high school music programs playing bass and then rhythm guitar and a pop band. And as Mark says it, he was playing solo and Rayanne became a groupie. <laughs> and then the duo was formed as they got to know each other and they began performing out uh, over the years. Four years ago, they founded the Massachusetts Walking Tour a nonprofit to support arts, culture, and small towns in Massachusetts. And they arrange the concerts on their walk, and uh, they highlight the town's commitment to arts and culture, and they travel by foot with heavy bags along the way. And I asked one of their most memorable moments on the walking tour, and was told by Mark it was the first year of their walking tour. They were going 17 miles. It was an arduous walk. Uh, they were late for their gig. And when they arrived, it was a restaurant, and the chef at the restaurant uh, told them, no food for you until you perform as you, you <laughs> promised. And they were very tired and hungry and just exhausted. But they did as they had agreed upon and performed for the dinner crowd and then also for the breakfast staff in the morning. And they slept bedded down in the gravel arcing lot, parking lot behind the restaurant as Mark said, located irk irksomely beneath a set of railroad tracks, which was frequented every hour all night long. And they continued on with a walking tour. And here they are in their fourth year, and they're funded by a, a Humanities Trust and Mass Cultural Council grants. And in just ending, uh, Mark said, the walking tour allows us to orchestrate an evening to celebrate the goal to hope to accomplish visiting each town in Massachusetts. And it's less about us and more about us as a part of a bigger idea. And here to share some of the songs of their walking tour this year, we have Mark Mandeville and Rayanne Richards and Amy and Mark as well. So please give them all a hand. First song we're gonna start with is a song of mine that's going on a record that Rayanne and I are working on. Uh, the song is called Hard Times and Woes. And I just want to say that if I could get Mr. Sam uh, Witt to open for us, uh, people's uh, general uh, idea of me as a depressive might change. <laughs> so again, this song's called Hard Times and Woes, and trust me, it's a very hopeful song. There'll be hard times, there'll be woes along both sides. times when giving up seems like the ending always told. Be it heaven or be it gold, to quench the thirst inside your soul. May faith stay in the saddle as you ride off in the morning. There's a way, and there's a me. 
called a hundred miles and it was written before the walking tour but we we bring it out each year because it has a good walking theme to it I could walk
very much, folks. Now I gotta pick right here. But yeah, we're, uh, Amy and I are very excited to be a part of this walking tour. I met Mark and Rianne at WICN uh, Worcester radio station a couple years ago and heard them talking about the tour. And I just thought it sounded really cool, so I let them know. And then about a year later, Mark called me up and said, hey, you want to come along? And I said, absolutely. Also, me and Amy play in a duo called Hoot and Holler, so uh, I asked Amy if she wanted to come along too, and she did. <laughs> yeah. We play uh, slightly smaller instruments for this tour. Uh, we take the back off the banjo, we take this little baby Martin with us. Um, I don't think the girls have much to worry about with a ukulele and a fiddle. Uh, um, we chose the right instruments for, yeah, for this one. Smart. Yeah. So the next song we're going to play for you guys is a song I wrote called I Will Find My Lover By and By. It's, uh, it's the title track off a CD I just released, and it's got the traveling theme. It's kind of about searching the whole world for your one true love. You guys ready? By and by, by and by, oh by and by, by and by. I will love her till I die. I will find my lover by and by. There's a yearning in my body.
Since uh, since this poetry show, I should mention that I played at a house concert once, and someone told me that uh, the last verse was on par with Dylan and Whitman, which was a huge compliment to me. I don't know if he knew anything about poetry, but <laughs> I'll take it. Every year the walking tour uh, changes. Every year we, Rand and I, include different musicians from the Northeast, and we chose uh, Mark and Amy, uh, obviously, because Mark and I spoke previously about it, and he was interested. Uh, the previous years, we've taken uh, different people. Um, in 2011, we took a Worcester songwriter named Matthew Fox, uh, and this year we released a walking tour uh, compilation, Volume 2, a uh, live concert from the Wachusett Village Inn back in 2011, and we have that uh, for sale, which all the proceeds go to support the walking tour, which I assure you uh, goes directly to uh, our nutrition. Uh, for the next two weeks. <laughs> we will eat your money. Yep. <laughs> tasty, tasty money. Yep. So this next song is a song I wrote called $15. It uh, has not been compared to any poets as of yet, but uh, <laughs> it's, like it. yeah, it's on an album that I'm selling back there along with Mark's solo album and an album that Mark and Rianne have from the walking tour in 2011. Um, each of them are $10. But this song is off my album called Big Ten. I'm gonna have this mark kick it off. <laughs>
all, and I also want to publicly invite uh, any artists here tonight who would like to perform as part of a walking tour performance. If you go to masswalkingtour.org and you are a musician or a storyteller or a poet or uh, anything uh, artistic mm -hmm. and you'd like to uh, collaborate with us, just um, masswalkingtour at gmail.com if you give us an email um, or come see us afterwards here uh, and we'll get you situated to perform. Uh, spot at one of the concerts as part of the community in Massachusetts, the artistic community uh, who's supporting uh, the arts. So please be in touch with us. Our hikes are also publicly available on our website. So if you're more into that part of it and you like to walk in the woods, you can come out and hike with us for the day or for a few hours, whatever you want to do. Yeah, you feel pretty good about yourself after walking next to us. We got these big packs on. They're about 30 pounds, 35 pounds each. And as you can tell, we're, we're not, you know, that physically fit. No. <laughs> so it's really we're funny. Shape, but we're not we'd love to get it. Uh, we'd love to get to that Forrest Gump level of fame. Though. <laughs> if you could help us, we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Thank so. you guys again. Can't you change without keeping your worries out loud? Can't you smile without seeping your thoughts into shrouds? Can't you keep all your memories out of this now? Won't you please come back? It had me spinning, around and around, for hours in the hot sweat air, in the summer sun, dusk dark, in the stars you knew about a hundred and... Hurry, come closer now, please. I'm sitting here all alone an inch away from your outstretched... I can feel it like I'd feel you if you'd just sleep here. Awake in my arms, take your mind, pour it out, I'll clean it up tomorrow. Just keep it here for an hour, day, year, 10, 20. Like a man eating flesh chomping terrible thought wrangling crime, keep it here for me in this mind melding stew. A couple of keepers will seep into creeping glass and all for a game of clue. <laughs> clue. <laughs> <laughs> Clue me into this game for a moment. Just keep it here, keep it here, keep your name. It's pretty like you. Now here from the moment, I'm tired as hell, but wakefulness keeps me inside. This Ken State dilemma of nothingness inside a zoo called a teenage Columbus that comes in and stalks us to keep us from nothingness, always for something like kids in a swimming glass, looking glass crews of their names and their mothers and fathers keep all of them turning from creeping glass slumberdom. Someday you'll find me away from these words, wasting time, wasting deep sea bass swimming and fine summer crabgrass, sing, saving a time and a deep keep apology for what I've put you through now. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no thank you, I say. I don't have the time today. I don't make the time today to sit with you and talk, to sit with you and try to fill silence with the rustling of a tea bag. Let it steep a little longer, dip it one more time, squeeze it yet again, a bit more cream, maybe a bit more honey. What will we share while the tea takes its time? Not enough? or maybe too much, I fear, to fill one cup of tea. When I set out on a journey, though the road be twisty turny, or the path be straight and narrow, there's one constant that I bring, riding shotgun on the dashboard, facing backward, looking inward, my companion on life's highways. Plastic Buddha on a spring. Oh, Plastic Buddha, my companion. Bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When a kid in a suburban cuts me off and takes my parking place, remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. Bald of head and robe of yellow, he's a soulful little fellow. And he's bouncing on his spring to the rhythm of the road. His expression of serenity reminds me of what has to be. Helps me keep my sanity, makes sure I don't explode. Oh, Plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When a Texan in his Lexus flips me off and takes the exit, remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. When I'm sitting in construction 
and sobbing in frustration, and the light stretched to eternity. Well, at least it feels that way. Plastic Buddha helps my patience, keeps me calm, brings me acceptance as I watch him do his spring dance, his gentle bob and sway. Oh, Plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding, help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When I'm trapped behind a folky, driving slowly in his Prius, remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. Thank you.